en route to Bash, which is in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And um, this is our first night without a show in so long. And so we found this awesome little camping spot in Pampa, Texas. It's like $10 a night and there's these cute little pullouts and stuff. So we're trying to take advantage of the remainder of the daylight, get some energy out after driving all day. And I'm trying to mount the unicycle without holding on to something. <laughs> well, Emily practices the unicycle. I'm gonna go pay for our spot. It's ten dollars for no hookups, just to be in this this little camping area. So I'm gonna take a nice, nice little walk by myself. New Mexico and it started snowing like crazy so um, it's really cold which means that we got to plug in our diesel engine so that the diesel can warm up just like we did in the last video but now we're doing it in the snow I was also looking at our the gas level and it's really low so I gotta fill that bad boy up with gas before I can even turn it on. Bible reading in the morning. First thing, kind of sets the day right, you know what I'm saying? Get your mind in the right perspective. So I'm gonna get to that.
Mountain Standard Time, so. Roll back the clocks. There we go. I wish it still made bird sounds. On the road, we sometimes mail CDs out to people who purchase them on our website, which you can do, by the way. So if you head to arborseason.com, you could find our CDs online and you can order them. You can also buy t-shirts and sweatshirts and things like that. But I'm gonna send three CDs to somebody and we're gonna mail it. There's a post office literally right around the corner. So I'm just gonna walk there and mail these CDs off. <laughs> CDs are stored under here, so I have to do this in the snow. Morning's coming soon As we both stare at the moon Both stare at the moon I'm back! All right, we just turned on the bus now. We gotta get everything packed up and ready to go because we're heading to Albuquerque. Did I say that right? Albuquerque. Hey, Albuquerque. No, Albuquerque. <laughs> Good job, Amy. <laughs> the nanny bus wouldn't start this morning and we thought it was because it was cold but it's actually because it was completely out of oil you would think that we would have learned after this summer to check our oil every day because that's where our bus broke down the big one but we'll learn after this right Shane <laughs> we'll see
booth. We're gonna start this thing and see if it works. Wanna come over here? I assume it's gonna take a little bit because we gotta let that engine oil go through all the lines. So, because we apparently we had nothing in it. So, are they lines? Are you sure that's what they are? I don't know. <laughs> We call the tow truck. The tow truck is on its way to take the nanny bus. We just don't want to keep trying things and messing with it and finding out that if we had only taken it in, we wouldn't have done more damage. But I'm going to tell you what my theory is and what I think that it is. I think all the diesel is gelled in the lines. So that's what I think. Uh, it's really cold here. Um, it's still cranking. It's still turning. The mechanic over the phone is saying that we need to get probably a new motor. I also think it's important to mention that we recently have spent ten thousand dollars on an engine replacement for the big bus which is where i'm standing right now and the nanny bus needed about seven to eight thousand dollars of work over the past few months which we knew it needed uh, when we bought it so that wasn't a surprise but this this one is a little of a surprise and to get a new motor is between forty eight hundred dollars and eight thousand dollars according to google so we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that that's not the case because if it is i may just leave the nanny bus here in albuquerque so as we're waiting for the tow truck there seems to be a problem happening here a and uh there's cops with guns literally like, guns the well they have somebody handcuffed and they're bringing them out they have two people handcuffed so i don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on. There's just cops everywhere now. They're all over the place. So we have a tow truck coming to pick up the nanny bus any minute. I mean, there are cops everywhere here. So we may have a hard time just getting our bus on a tow truck. I mean, there's probably at least 20. Yeah, so whatever's going down is big. The tow truck has arrived. the whole situation was road rage that just exploded and then they were taking care of it but then somebody called the police and said that they thought someone had a gun which is why all of the other people showed up apparently that's what happened that's what the guy at the hotel said who knows <laughs> All right, I'm now gonna head to the mechanic shop and find out what's going on. Good thing we have a tow car that we take with us everywhere, so we can still get around pretty good. Right, on to Cutter Road, north side. Turn right. So we got an update and apparently they got it started. It was like a biodiesel issue or something. I don't really get it. I'm gonna find out more and I'll relay that information. But right now we're sleeping on the street in Albuquerque. Before we continue on with the vlog though, I have to give a huge shout out to our friends back in Branson, Missouri for putting our mailbox on our property. So we're gonna switch over really quickly to Branson, Missouri where there's an update on our property. We officially have a mailbox. Thank you so much, Jason and Allie. You guys are incredible. And uh, this is a little bit of their adventure on getting us a mailbox on our property.
on the dirt road. We're getting there, two minutes away. Time to put up a mailbox. So sadly, we didn't give as much forethought to our plans as we should have. And <laughs> we need a screwdriver and a wrench and a shovel. So we were planning on going to a coffee shop in town anyways in Harrison. So we're just gonna go do that and come back with the proper tools. So we'll be back to the property in like an hour. So we're walking into Home Depot because we need a wrench and a shovel to put together the mailbox. We got the goods. Running around and going back to Lowe's because I forgot to get stickers. So they were out of zeros. Oh. That's exactly what I got. <gasps> no one will know. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Last one. Mailbox in place. Ta-da! Finished. All right, it's the next day and we're just waiting to hear back from the mechanics. So we're hanging out at a playground with the kids. We're hoping to get out of here in like two hours, but it's not looking so good. So it looks like there's a problem with the glow plug not getting enough voltage. So they're looking into that and apparently maybe cleaning the, cleaning the turbo. And so hopefully after those two things, we'll be back on the road, but We'll see, we'll keep you posted. We had to tighten up some nuts that were on the glow plug. Um, one of the mechanics that were working for the shop came out to meet me afterwards and now he's helping me tonight with one more part before we hit the road. We're just on the side of the street doing this thing and hopefully really soon, we're gonna pull like a, maybe a two hour drive tonight. Um, and we never drive at night, so this is kind of a rarity for us, but we need to get on the road. They fixed the bus, everything is good to go, and we're leaving Albuquerque this morning in about 45 minutes. Well, thanks everybody for watching and for being a part of this journey. Uh, we love making these videos for you. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And we want to give a huge thank you to our Patreons. Uh, patrons. Patrons. I learned that I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Uh, so thank you for being a patron. And you can do that by signing up on patreon.com slash arbor season. Your name automatically goes on our bus. We send you postcards depending on the tier that you're at. We release music and songs there that nobody else will probably hear. Thank you again for being here, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Except we won't see you, but you'll see us. Well, maybe we'll see them. We don't know. It's true. Technology is expanding. Depends on who's watching, I guess.